If you're looking to get a thick, green, healthy, plush lawn, then you have clicked on the right video. Come along this journey with me as I show you the steps you can take in early spring to get a lawn that looks like this. It's early March and this is the time of year where I get so excited to get back outside. Everything's coming back to life and we're seeing those signs of spring popping up everywhere. So the worst of the winter weather is behind us and everything's starting to wake up a little bit and your grass is probably coming out of dormancy in the near future. If you want to have a nice thick carpet like this, there's a few things that you can do early on in the season. Early in the spring is a great time to get out in your yard, take a look at what's happened throughout the winter time, if you have any damage to your grass, and just get everything cleaned up. The first step I like to take every spring is going along the curb right next to the street in the front of our house and getting rid of all the little stones, the sticks, the mulch, the little pieces of rock salt that have gotten kicked up into our yard throughout the winter time because those things can wreak havoc on your mower blade and that rock salt can kill your grass if you don't take care of that. So go through with a rake or your leaf blower and clear all that stuff out and make sure that that's not sitting on your grass. Next, you're gonna to wanna to analyze your lawn and see if you have any matted grass with the grass blades laying over itself because if you do, you wanna go through with a rake and lift those things up to allow some oxygen flow and allow that sun to hit down in the roots of that grass and warm everything up and help it come out of dormancy. On a warm early spring day like today, it's tempting to get out and wanna put down some products or put down fertilizer in the hopes of bringing your lawn out of dormancy and turning green. It's not time to do that yet. You may see these things at hardware stores and you see all the fertilizer out and it seems like it's the right time for that, but trust me, it is not. I live around the Chicagoland area and while it feels warm today, I can guarantee we're gonna get more snow and it's gonna get cold again. So holding off on that urge to put products down and thinking that that's the route to getting the best lawn, it's not. While it's not time to fertilize yet, it is a great time to start thinking about what you're gonna do about your weeds this year. If you've had a history of having really bad crabgrass problems, you may wanna consider a pre-emergent herbicide, something like prodiamine. It's extremely effective in what it does when you apply it either in a granular form or a liquid form. It puts down a barrier in your soil and it does a great job of preventing crabgrass issues. While it doesn't prevent germination like other people may tell you, once those crabgrass seeds from last year start to germinate, that barrier is gonna prevent cell division in those plants of your crabgrass. So if it cannot divide its cells, a plant can't get bigger, so it's gonna prevent crabgrass from popping up and being an issue. If you live in a climate like mine, there's nothing consistent about our weather. So doing a split application of a product like prodiamine, meaning you put down a half application early on, once you get that first warm weather that brings up your soil temperature to about 55 degrees, then you can do one later on. About four to five weeks later, you can do another application. If you know you only have crabgrass issues in some spots in your lawn, you don't have to do a complete blanket treatment of all of your grass. Instead, you can do spot treatments in the areas where you know you're gonna get crabgrass. One thing you can start to do, as long as the weather permits and you don't have any frozen ground at all, is start to cut your grass. It might sound crazy to cut your grass in March, but if you have good weather, going out and using your rotary mower to cut your grass is gonna clean up any of that debris. It's gonna lift up those grass blades and if you can just nip off the tip, just a tiny little bit at the top, you're gonna to start stimulating some growth in your lawn and it's gonna start coming out of dormancy and turning green again. For me in my backyard, I always keep it nice and short at about a half inch long like a golf course fairway, which takes a lot of work and maintenance, but it looks beautiful. Should I mow today? I mean, it's March 3rd. It's ridiculous to be out mowing today, right? Ah, let's do it anyway, let's go. That's a wrap for the first mow of the season. Man, it feels so good to be back out here again. We got the grass looking green, we got stripes, it's early March, life is good. So if you can get out, clean up your yard a little bit, clean up those sticks and debris, analyze what's going on, think about how you're gonna prevent weeds this year, and even start mowing. If you can follow these simple tips, you're gonna set yourself up for a thick green, beautiful lawn. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.